My name's Hayes with Insight 360. Just wanted to welcome uh, you to our, uh, to our booth here at uh, NAX 2022. Um, what we're going to talk about today is our fully connected site, meaning that we're uh, doing remote site management for three types of devices. Um, our point of sale or our passport system, our dispensers or our, our forecourt area, and then our um, ATGs and tank monitoring system. So over to the right on this screen, we have a series of what are actionable widgets that um, show the status of your tanks and your ATG alerts, um, inventory, and uh, that, thing, that type of thing for your fuel system. Here we have our um, in-store status for our point of sale. So we've got a couple of point of sale systems hooked up on this system and they're both uh, live at this point. And then we have our uh, forecourt status for devices or our dispenser um, system. So we've got one in air and some that are down and we'll go that. All of these are actionable. They all work from one dashboard so you get a high level snapshot of what your entire network is doing. On the map, you'll see everything that is color coded. Um, we've got all your sites that are green, means that they are, uh, they're all good. Don't have to worry about them. Yellow means we've got something in warning. Um, you might want to keep an eye on it, but not critical. Orange really means that we have um, some type of either medium level fuel alert or some equipment down. And then red means that we definitely have something in the air and you might want to, uh, you might want to address that um, very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take these in order of our uh, point of sale system and then our uh, four court devices and then finally we'll look at the fuel and compliance monitoring. So for the four court or our in-store product, we have a number of different actions that you can do straight from your laptop, your phone, an iPad, wherever you are um, to manage your point of sales across multiple sites. So we can do everything from manage speed keys. And I used the wrong system to do that. Hang on. Um, can you cut things out? Yeah. Okay. So we can do everything from manage, we can, from manage speed keys. And we'll, we'll select this to Typical part of a demo, and uh, you're, you're here with me uh, live, is that I hit the wrong button. <laughs> so to manage our speed keys, we select the correct button. We uh, choose our options. We can edit those speed keys. They come up here. We can move speed keys around and then send them to the uh, point of sale device. Similarly, we can do similar types of actions with our fuel prices. So. This is our store that's here at the location, and we're managing our uh, fuel prices here. It's a very simple process to uh, change these. We can simply increase the price that we're wanting to, make sure it's selected over here, and then we can schedule when we want to make that change. So we can choose uh, a schedule name, a date, we'll do it today, and we'll do it at 3 p.m. Whenever, uh, whenever you want to, we'll accept. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna save that, and it's not gonna kick that schedule into effect until we save. At the POS system, um, basically what's gonna happen in, in uh, real life is if you have electronic boards that are controlled by your POS system electronically, it'll automatically make that change at 3 p.m. If you um, have manual boards, you'll be prompted on the POS system and you'll go in and accept the change just like you normally would with any other things through your, manage, through your manager tools. Very simple, very easy interaction of what you can do uh, remotely. The nice thing about it is you can do that for multiple sites at one time here. Okay, send it out across your uh, network in which that's gonna take effect. Other things that we can do is, um, we can, we can get to, we can manage our receipts, we can manage tax, tax rates for one site, multiple sites, a whole area that's affected by the same, for the same tax rates. 
We can also access a number of reports from this. So you can get to your store close, your transaction receipts, electronic journals, fuel flow rate, fuel price audit report, um, all for multiple sites straight from the system. The nice thing is, is you can also control the people that have access to this and what level of access they have. So some people may only have access to one site, some a whole group of sites. Some could access all the other functionality and not be able to run reports or vice versa. So it gives you a lot of flexibility for, your, uh, for how you want to configure that. And you control that as the administrator of the system. It's not controlled by us. It's not controlled by a parent company. It's you control it from a site standpoint. From in-store, we're going to now go back to our dashboard and look at our dispenser management uh, product. So again, up in the left-hand corner, we're showing our four-quart status uh, devices. And I've got four in air. If I'm managing the four-quart, I'm a customer service rep or whoever is uh, doing this, that's what I'm concerned about most. So I can simply click on that in error button, and it's going to show what devices are currently in it, what devices are currently in air. The nice thing about this, if I'm working on this and I've got a longer list that I'm working through, I can tell everybody else which one I'm working on simply by acknowledging the fact, um, by selecting the button, and then I can go into the details of what's happening with the card reader. Okay? In the card reader, in this case, We've got an error, the card reader's not responding, and it's telling me what to do. I can execute a warm start, I can check for a software update, and I can dispatch a technician. Okay? Straight from here, the nice thing is, is I can do some of these commands right from here. So if I want to execute a warm start of that device, straight from here, all I'm warm starting is that payment terminal. I'm not affecting the rest of the dispenser. Okay? I can also refresh the status. But more importantly, if I need to, if nothing else has solved the problem and I need to restart the dispenser, I can do that again from here. We're providing the status of the dispenser over on the left so that you know it's not in use, so that it's safe to warm start without it affecting your customer. If for some reason in that little incremental time that warm start is sent while the customer is starting a transaction, the pump's going to ignore that, um, that warm start and it'll just fail, you'll get a notification that it's failed and you will not affect that customer's experience. From there, we also have a second level of, um, of remote management. The first that I showed you is more of a customer service management level type of uh, use. It doesn't take and they don't need the same level of data and the same level of skill that um, this does. But here is our more of a technician's view. And this allows you to go through and do a lot more, get a lot more information about what's going on. For instance, for one of those FlexPay 4s that was having the issues, I can look and say, here's all the details about it, but here are the actions that I can take on one of those devices. I can do everything from download certificates to update software um, to purge uh, files from it if we, if we think that's causing a problem. Um, you can also do remote key loads. Real important for the technicians, they can request log files um, to see what the details are. We can do a software reset from here. You'll notice we can also stage EMV or stage point-to-point -point encryption if that's applicable for your, uh, for your customer. Um, again, what we're trying to do is we're doing from a remote standpoint all the things that you would normally have a technician do with a laptop plugged in to the thing. So we're basically doing any of the repairs he could do with except for actually physically um, repairing something. Additional things that they can look at is they can see events. They can download logs and see the log files. Any schedules, any software updates or anything like that would also show up um, in, this, in this screen. So from remote management, the next key and what's really becoming important for all our customers in this area is software management for the devices. So we have a similar type dashboard that's just for software management. And what it allows us to do is a quickly across my network 
is say, okay, I've got FlexPay 4, here are the different versions of software that are running across my network. They all should be running this very top level. So I'm gonna select it, and it'll tell me which ones are running that, they're all in green. The ones that are in gray are not running that version, but I want them to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly select that. It's gonna bring up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend my page, page size so that everything is brought in. I can select them all, and then I can go through and with the, uh, with the right access, I can download, install, and schedule this file download or loads and installs um, for the whole group or for any individual sites or devices that you want to. The nice thing about this is when you're doing uh, these types of things, a lot of times it's the download that may fall, fail. So you can do the download one day or one night, verify any issues, check those, get all the uh, downloads done the following day, just clean it up, and then do the installs all at night when um, you're down or when it's low time. You can cycle them, you can, do, you can schedule them by fueling positions, by site, all, all kinds of flexibility so that it meets your business needs, allows your sites to run, and having the least amount of interruption to your daily, prog uh, to your daily management of those and running of those sites. Again, what we're doing is we're improving that customer, that customer experience by keeping systems up. Just a couple of quick stats that we're seeing. Um, we're able to solve about 30% um, percent of dispenser issues remotely using the system. We're able to save countless um, truck rolls by, uh, by doing software downloads, by doing restarts of the dispenser, by reloading software on card readers, and so forth. So really effective management of the system. All this data that we've been talking about are available in alerts that we can send. You can configure who those go to. Certain level alerts might want to go to a security group. Other level alerts you might want to have just going to the store. Paper out, you want that going to the store locally. Um, somebody's uh, trying to break into a dispenser, we'd like that going to uh, multiple people, not just at the store. So. A lot of flexibility in doing that. Similarly, we can run a lot of reports. Um, just the one that we'll uh, talk about uh, quickly that is becoming uh, more of an issue is we have a, P, uh, a PCI report that, we are, uh, that we've been running. Um, PCI, it allows you to do your PCI compliance reporting just as a touch of a button. The system's tracking all that information for you. There's no more waiting on technicians to call in and let you know that something's been replaced. There's no more keeping track of spreadsheets. You can do it automatically with the system. Okay, finally, we've taken care of dispensers. Now we're gonna talk about um, fuel alarms, fuel inventory and compliance management for our, uh, for our tanks. So similarly to the four quart product, when you look at our fuel alarms, all this, the data that we're looking at can all be sent via alerts, but here we've got, is we've got high, medium, and low level alarms. It tells us what the alarm category is, what the alarm name, what our source is, device, dispense, um, what the device label is, when it occurred, and so on and so forth. So the nice thing is, is you've got two level of interactions that you can do straight from here. You can go to the console. Um, as long as you know the commands to type in, just like you were doing any other time, or you can go to the emulator and run the emulator just for the 350s, just as if you were standing in front of the, uh, the unit itself. So makes makes it very easy to troubleshoot, do things here, before you, before you go. Um, from a visibility standpoint, we can also monitor, we're also monitoring inventory. So here we've got three levels of low inventory. You can kind of get the details of where they are. We've got one that's at 14% volume. I want to go look and see what that means for me. So I can kind of look at the histogram of what that use is, use is to, see, to see what the, uh, what the issues are. So we'll go through, you can shrink the amount of history that you're looking at, you can increase it, and, um, 
and go on that way. The spikes up obviously are deliveries, and then your usage uh, your usage trends are uh, are going down. Polling management just allows you to uh, to configure how you're polling for all of these different devices. Um, so we'll do won't show that, but uh, compliance status again we're looking at our at our. Uh, at all our inspections and what's happened. We've got a normal, uh, a lot of inspections that have passed just fine. We've got four that they passed the last time they were done, but if you'll notice, the last time they were inspected was in June, and that's what our exception is. So similarly, if you need to check out, if you wanna go and, uh, and refresh this from the tank, you've got access to both the console and the emulator straight from, straight from here. Finally, within our uh, fuel management, we're gonna take a look at our inventory control. And this is basically a reconciliation report uh, across your system. Um, green basically is telling us that, a green check basically is telling us all the variances were fine. A red X is gonna tell us something was out of, uh, was out of, comp was out of variance. So it's gonna bring, it's gonna bring us to the correct report if, it's, if this report crosses over multiple days, you may have to scroll over, and we'll quickly see that on, um, in, on the 19th, we had a variance of uh, negative 2,421 gallons. That then allows you to go look at it. This is historical data, okay? The key is, is that you're also being alert, alerted when that actually happens. So you're not having to go in and check report every day. If there's a problem like that, the system's going to let you know as long as you've just configured the, uh, the alert to, uh, to go to you. Guys, that's a high level view of our, of our system. Really what we want to leave you with is, again, we've got a fully connected site in which you can manage all of these areas of your operations from one system. We're going to improve your customer service, so we're going to reduce maintenance costs and um, we're just in general going to uh, help you give your customer a, a better experience across their uh, interaction with you.